In this video on C Sharp Basics, we'll be taking a look at the do while loop. Now the do while loop repeats the execution of code within its scope until a specified expression is false. This is very similar to the while loop, but with one significant difference. The do while loop does use a Boolean expression, typically the result of a relational operator, to determine if the code should be repeated. Now the while expression is evaluated after the code within the do scope is performed. This means that the code within the do scope is performed at least one time. Now typically, just like with the while loop, we use the increment or decrement operator to modify a value within the expression until the expression can be evaluated to false. And the do while loop is useful for executing code repeatedly until you need it to stop. And once again, we need to be careful of infinite loops. So here's the syntax of a do while loop. First, we once again start with an integer. Then we add our do statement. But you'll notice that at the end of our do scope, we have a while statement. Now inside of the do scope is where we place the commands that we want to execute. And of course, inside of our do scope, we need to either use the increment or decrement operator so that the while expression will at some point evaluate to false. So here's the basic route for our execution of this code. We start off declaring our variable along with an initial value. Then we hit our do loop. First, we go ahead and execute the code within the do scope. We increment the value of x by one. Then we hit the while statement and if the while statement is true, then we go ahead and repeat the commands inside the do scope. However, if the while expression is false, then we go ahead and continue on to proceed with the rest of our code. The main difference between the while loop and the do while loop, aside from the syntax, is that with the do while loop, you get your commands executed at least one time before the expression is evaluated. And finally, the expression is evaluated after or at the end of the do while instead of up front at the very beginning. Now for our do while loop, let's go ahead and start off with a variable of type int, and we're gonna call this variable x and set its initial value to zero. Now, after we've declared our x variable, let's go ahead and add our do statement. And we're gonna wanna do some curly braces after the do statement to indicate the scope of our do loop. After our do scope, we're gonna to wanna to put the while statement. And here we're gonna once again need to use some sort of Boolean expression that's gonna determine whether or not we should repeat the commands inside the do scope. Typically, this is gonna be a relational operator. So let's go ahead and do x less than six. And then we need to add a semicolon at the end of our while statement. Now inside the scope of our do statement, these are gonna be the commands that we wanna execute each time that we loop through the code. So let's go ahead and do console.writeLine. And we'll just write the value of x to the console window. And then the last thing we need to do is go ahead and increase the value of x by one. So we're gonna use the incremental operator. And of course, no console.writeLine would be complete without a read line. Let's go ahead and do this after the while loop so that we go ahead and uh, repeat the code inside the do scope first, then execute our read line. So we'll do console dot read line. And now we've completed a do while statement. Let's go ahead and see this in action by saving and running the application. So the results in our console window are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. To see this in action, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the application and set a breakpoint right here on our do loop. Let's run through the code one more time, but let's go ahead and step through the code to see what happens. Here we've paused at our breakpoint. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the F11 key on my keyboard to step into the code, and we'll see console.writeLine, and the value of X wants to get rid of the console window. Let's go ahead and do that, and I'm just gonna take a peek here at the console window and see that indeed the value of X was written to the console window. Let's go back to our code and step through the next line. We've increased the value of x by one, and you can see that down here in our autos window. Then our while statement is executed, and it's checking to see if the value of x is less than six, and since it's one, that's gonna evaluate to true. Since it's true, we're gonna go back up to our do loop and go inside the do scope 
to see that once again console.writeLine x is evaluated and that once again writes the value of x to our console window. So now I'm going to make one small little change to our do while loop. I'm going to go ahead and set the value of x to 6 right from the get-go. So we're going to say x is 6. And now let's go ahead and run our application and step through the code. Now you'll see that we've paused here on the do scope. The value of x is 6 right now. And we're going to go ahead and continue through the do scope. So it's going to go ahead and write to the console window the value of x, which is 6. Then increment the value of x by 1 and then hit our while statement. Now this is important to understand because the commands within the do scope are guaranteed to be executed at least one time before the while expression is evaluated. This is the significant difference between a while loop and a do while loop. When you're trying to determine which control flow you wanna have for your application, try to keep this distinction in mind.